and welcome back to my home channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing one of my absolute favorite things ever to do and that is organizing. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm organizing some of my small spaces and give you some organization inspiration. I don't think I have a whole lot more to say in this intro other than I wanna thank Mnemonic for sponsoring this video. You guys are gonna be completely mind blown whenever you see how cool their products are. I haven't been this excited about a brand partnership in a while and even my daughters have been loving their products they're super simple to use and extremely handy for so many different things honestly I keep thinking of more and more ideas and ways that I can use their products mnemonic makes organizing with labels completely effortless and so much fun your creativity can fly it's small compact and super user friendly and really easy to set up and use it connects through bluetooth or usb to load the cartridge you just slide the small lever on the side and it pops open you can change out the cartridge and the printer automatically recognizes which cartridge you have loaded You can design your own labels right in the mnemonic app or you can upload your own designs or logos this is a perfect device for someone with a small business whenever you're trying to print labels for your products They also provide a sticky note paper that comes in white or multiple color. A feature that I personally love is it does print black and white photos and they resemble Polaroid photos in my opinion. They're super fun to add into your planner or your journal for a little personal touch. Mnemonic Label provides a total of four sizes of label paper cartridges from a 3x1 inch to a 3x4 inch with water resistant function. Check out the link below because right now Mnemonic is running a great sale you will not want to miss out on. I know that it is only running for a little bit longer so you'll definitely want to get yours today. So I decided to split up different areas of the tiny home and kind of do it section by section. We have been living in it for a while, so it's kind of given me a good idea on how I want each space to operate, things I want to get rid of. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of decluttering as I go, and this will all be in more than one video. So be on the lookout for um, next week and over the next few weeks, I'll be sharing more on organization and let's go ahead and get started. The first space that I tackled was the pantry and this was originally I think supposed to be more for bathroom storage but because I cook a lot and I have a lot of ingredients and I do have three little ones I needed the space for my food and for other things related to the kitchen. So the first thing that I did was put some lighting inside of the pantry. I will link this lighting below. It's from Amazon and is really easy to install. If you guys have watched me for a long time, you know that I've used this in so many different spaces and I'm going to be using it in some more spaces throughout the tiny home. The great thing about this lighting is you can cut it to the length that you need it.
I found these containers at TJ Maxx, I think possibly at Burlington Coat Factory, and also some of them were from Aldi as well. The great thing about having the label maker on hand is if I change up what I have in the boxes, I can always swap out the label. This took a little bit of thinking and kind of trying out some different products, but the bin that I slid underneath is from Target, and then the little shelving unit that's over top of the bowls is from Ikea. So it all fit together perfectly that I could put some of my cups and tumblers behind everything and then stack our dinnerware in front of it. Moving on to the next section, I tackled underneath of the bathroom sink area. There is a little bit of storage in there and I wanted to just kind of store some of our toiletries and other things that we use pretty regularly. And then I also did get rid of a few things as I was going through this, just stuff that we weren't using to make space and not have everything so crammed underneath of the sink. Luckily, this little basket was already in the tiny home whenever I did the renovations, so all I had to do was take it out and spray paint it. Alright, so even though I'm not showing you guys how I did this, I thought I would go ahead and show you for a little bit of inspiration. So this is our like bathroom area and in here is the shower and I wanted to go ahead and show you how I've utilized the shower space. So we do have a pretty nice size shower for an RV and here I have a lot of things organized. I got this little toothbrush holder from Amazon and it works great. It has like a little thingy on the bottom so the water can go through if any water gets in it, which it really doesn't because of how the shower head is placed. And then down here, this was also from Amazon and it has these little metal pieces that work well for razors. It holds a bar of soap and then I can also use it kind of as a hook because the same setup is on the other side for razors as well. And then these little containers are also awesome. I keep things like mouthwash, things that it doesn't really matter if they get wet. 
um, are in here. So I have just like some scrubs and this is some extra toothpaste I picked up and just things like that. So we use this up a lot. I could really add some more if I wanted to, but I really don't need it and it helps to kind of hide away a few more bigger bottles and things like that. Next, I worked on my daughter's closet area and I have yet to completely figure out how to use this closet in the best way, but I am just using it the best way I've figured out so far. Let's put it that way. So as I was going through, I just kind of pulled out some things that they weren't wearing. I definitely am being very minimal with their wardrobe. And since there is three of them, I have to kind of keep in mind what are their favorite things? What do they love to wear? And if it's not being used, then it goes. And I also just hung everything up in a rainbow order just to make it look a little bit more orderly. And I did slide the hanging bar back as I was organizing this I realized that it might be a little bit more useful to have it slid back so that we could have the little drawer sets sticking out in front and not buried underneath of the clothing and then with the second drawer set I went ahead and gave them each a drawer we are super into paper crafting and planners and journaling around here I love it and so the girls do too so each of them have their own little journal and I thought it would be nice for them to have their own space to put their little treasures Underneath of their closet area is two drawers and for now I've been using them for their pajamas and their leggings. Since it's winter time and it's cold, I can just stack all of their leggings in there and it works out well. All right, so I know that some of you have already seen this, but for those of you that haven't, I thought I would quickly show you because um, I've organized this already. I actually just straightened up their books uh, <laughs> it's something I do every once in a while, mainly for my own satisfaction, I think. But anyways, so this is what we do. We have their toys in here and there are a few other places in our tiny home that we keep toys and things, but this is the most of it. And so it's kind of what I keep, you know, like we swap something out or like we only have this much space. So that's what we work with. So up here we have some magnetic blocks. I think that that is like doll babies and blankets and little bottles and things like that. And then of course they have their books and this here has Paw Patrol stuff in it. This is kind of a miscellaneous bin that's got a bunch of different stuff in it. And then some of the stuff that they're into right now is they have their 18 inch dolls which are kind of like an American Girl doll but it's the Target version of them and this is all of the accessories and stuff. I'll show you on the other side of their little playroom here what, um, what else they have for this. And then another thing that they are majorly into is Polly Pockets. So all of that goes in there. There's like a little sketch pad thingy there. And if you can see, there's a shower curtain right there. We do put that up here sometimes. And they put a blanket and this is like their little tent house area. And then down in here, that's kind of the beginning of the underneath storage, which I will get to um, in a few videos from now because I'm gonna be doing organization in there as well. But this is our laundry bin. And if you're standing up there, you cannot see it. So it's kind of nice and hidden and it's a really big plastic tub it's a good place two things you got to have you got to have a place for trash and you got to have a place for laundry all right so opposite of their storage spot here is a little um kitchen that is for those 18 inch dolls it's kind of there's like food and stuff in that bin over there for it the refrigerator the dog house because they have little dogs that go with their 18 inch dolls and then another little toy thing so right now this is what we've got going on I did have a rug in here for a little bit, but I decided to get rid of it because the girls were doing like 
crafty stuff and things like that down in here and it was just it was like a really furry rug so I'll probably get another one eventually but um, it just didn't work out with what they were doing at the time and some slime got dumped on it you know how it goes when you're a mom okay so across the way here we have another little storage spot it's below Everly's bed and it's the probably least aesthetic looking area because you can see the old flooring <laughs> underneath of here but it's a nice storage spot and um, it's kind of where I keep towels and stuff like that and then these bins in here are where all of our craft stuff is I'm actually gonna pull them out and kind of straighten them up a little bit and then back behind that panel right there is our water heater and so I actually had picked this up the other day if you guys watch my vlog channel you know that I grabbed um, a couple of these at five below and I think they'll work perfect for some washcloths in here You can find a lot of links for the things that you saw in this video in the description box. I'm a big Amazon shopper and so I get a lot of the things that I use in my home from Amazon. If you're new here, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a like. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're organizing right now or what you enjoyed most about this video and I'll see you guys in my next video.